That just leaves the temperature spike in core containment. Follow me, Jack. Careful! Yeah, you'll guide me. <laughs> nice one. You got me good that time. <laughs> That's gonna leave a mark. Find anything? Nothing conclusive. Your body is radiation hardened. Care to take a look inside? I'll see what I can ascertain. Hera, disable all containment safety protocols and unseal the hatch. Acknowledged. Awaiting manual operation. Head on in. I'll see you on the other side. Okay. You'll need to seal yourself in before we can expose the cause, Jack. That's crazy. I should finish calibrating my radiation shield before we continue. Acknowledged. Standing by. Module A, 251. Radiation shield. Your scanner can detect hazardous radiation fields capable of damaging you. Oh. Please activate your scanner and use it to assess the irradiated area ahead. Your scanner places tracking points that display the area's radiation level. When you are ready to proceed, please exit the activation pod. Your radiation shield will protect you for a limited time. A shield meter is located on both of your wrists below your arm computer. You can use this to monitor your shield levels. Now please use your scanner to find the least hazardous route through the room and reach the exit. That is so interesting. There are some hazardous things. Higher levels of radiation will drain your shield faster. Oh the wow. Monitor on your wrist displays the radiation level of your current location. Please keep it in mind. If your shield is depleted, your body will suffer irreparable damage. Please be careful. <laughs> wow, that's so cool. You can draw energy from induction panels to replenish your radiation shield. This module will complete when your shield is fully recharged. Please pull the handle toward you to begin recharging. Calibration module complete. Please stand by. Radiation shield fully operational. Copy that. Let's get started by opening the core enclosures. The code is 5826. Authorization accepted. Warning. Radiological activity detected. Well, that explains the temperature spike. At least one of the fusion cores is leaking radiation. Your scanner should help you zero in on the source. Nice shot. I'd say that warrants a closer look. I'll activate the I.O. port so you can scan it to open the enclosure. Interesting, okay. Ah, here it is. I was confused what to do. Enclosure unlocked. We need to scan the individual cores to determine which is causing the problem. Oh? Micro fractures in the fuel assembly. Radiation at unsafe levels. That could contaminate the entire fuel reserve. We'll need to jettison the core. To unlock it, enter 6102 at the central console. Core released. Bring it to the disposal conduit at the bottom of the chamber. Once you open the conduit, you'll need to seat the core into the launch tube and use the lever to eject it. Keep an eye on your shield levels while you're in transit. Emergency disposal conduit online. Fusion core marked for disposal. Stand by. Bye bye. Awaiting manual confirmation. Radioactive material jettisoned. The area is still irradiated. There has to be another damaged core. Check the other enclosures. I'll keep looking. Hmm, not getting any warmer. Try scanning in another direction. A second hotspot. I'm activating the I.O. port so you can check the enclosure. This core is similarly damaged. Bloody hell. It has to go. Punch in seven, six, 
Four one at the central console to unlock it. Oh shit. Same routine here. Run it to the disposal conduit and jettison the core. Give me. Shields at fifty percent. Oh damn, I have to hurry. <laughs> Emergency disposal conduit online. Fusion core marked for disposal. Stand by. Awaiting manual confirmation. B -b Bye. Radioactive material jettisoned. Radiation levels returning to normal. Thank God for that. Looks like we live to fight another day. Let's shut the enclosure so we can get you out of there. Re-enter the code in the center console. Okay. Five eight two six. Oh, so fun. I'm getting used to the zero G mechanics. I'm not like very much of a pro. <laughs> like you would realize. Core containment re-engaged. Hmm. You're looking a bit worse for wear. Maybe you should use your arm computer to upload to another shell. Shell? Initiating manual reboot. Reboot initiated. Oh, we can switch bodies. Descending. I'm looking good. I'll meet you on the other side by the hatch. How dare you not compliment me? Oh, damn, what? Skills here. Yeah, just go. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> That's creepy. Oh my god. Looking sharp, Jack. Did you get dolled up for me? <laughs> yeah, sure. I know you like it when I look my best. Ooh. Such a gentleman. Smooth. We should reseal the hatch before we move on, Jack. Chamber temperature is back within normal limits. Nice job in there, Jack. Thank you. All right, that ought to do it. We're all set. Hey, Jack. Hmm? High five. Oh, hell yeah. There you go. I appreciate the help, Jack. Wait, what the hell was that? That's what I'm here for. And here I thought it was to keep me from going round the bend. That is also true. As your echo unit, I am charged with ensuring your safety and well-being. That includes monitoring your demeanor for signs of mental instability. You're joking. No, not at all. Were I not here, it is entirely possible you'd have thrown yourself out an airlock by now. <laughs> Statistically speaking, of course. Okay. There's a thought that's going to linger. Thanks for that. Captain Rhodes, full spectrum scan of the anomaly is complete. All right, Hera. Push the results to the hollow table in the EVA staging area. Acknowledged. Come on, Jack. Let's go have a look at the results. Maybe we'll learn something useful about this anomaly of ours. That does seem likely, considering we currently know nothing at all. Hmm, <laughs> suppose I can't argue with that. Hera, status report. Status, green. All systems nominal. Well, that's good news. But what about our anomaly? Where is it? Hera, display the anomaly's current location. Acknowledged. Ah, there we go. Wait, hang on. Wait, what? Hera, is this image to scale? Affirmative. So the anomaly has increased in size. Not a good sign. Let's get a closer look. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Curious. I can't make head nor tail out of any of this data. What about you? You think I'm a scientist? The data appears to have been corrupted somehow. It's the same for all the readings. Spectrometer, interferometer, LIDAR... All rubbish. Interference from the anomaly must be disrupting the transmission signal. So, our sensor network is useless. What now? <laughs> Do we go in person? Yeah, I'll go. 
I'll exit the station and investigate the anomaly up close. Absolutely not. If I use my scanner, I can bypass the sensor network. I'll be able to examine the data in real time. We've seen what that thing can do to your systems. What if you get shut down out there? Let's switch bodies, no? I appreciate your concern, but there really is no other option. We need to determine the nature of this anomaly. Uh-oh. And I suggest we do so quickly. Okay. Okay, well... No sense wasting any more time then. Let's get you into the airlock, sharpish. I want to go out. Oh Caution. my god, are you kidding airlock me? Opening. Oh. I'll be fine. Don't worry, Liv. I'll be fine. I know. I just wish we had another option. Well, no sense in putting it off. Let's get you out the airlock. <laughs> oh, you don't push me this time? Okay. Seems like you're really worried. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be amazing. If you're going out there, you'll need an EVA rig. There should be some inside the airlock. Just take one off the rack. Ava rig. What do I do with it? You'll need to secure the rig to your back. Oh. EVA rig secured. Initializing advanced movement systems. Stand by for calibration. Oh. Module M two oh one. Primary boosters. Your EVA pack allows you to boost forward in the direction you are looking. When you are ready, please exit the activation pod and use your EVA boost to reach the console. Ahead. Oh, I think this is the boosters from Echo VR. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well done. Please press the hollow button to continue. Now boost to the end of the hall before the walls close in on you. Multiple boosts may be required. Hey, come on. Module M116, braking thrusters. This module will calibrate your braking thrusters, which allow you to stop in place without grabbing any surface. Please exit the activation pod and proceed to the room ahead. There are two target zones in the next room. Please boost into one of the zones and use your braking thrusters to come to a full stop. Success! Now, use your braking thrusters to stop inside target zone A. Calibration module complete. Please stand by. EVA rig fully functional. Ready to disembark. Copy. Airlock controls unlocked. Pull down on the handle to close the inner door. Any last words? <laughs> Inner bulkhead sealed. Once the airlock has cycled, head outside and make your way to the anomaly. Get a scan if possible, but don't put yourself at any unnecessary risk. Understood. I'm going back up to the bridge. I can keep a better eye on your status from there. Keep this comm channel open. Maintain constant contact. Copy that. Depressurization complete. Yes. Ready for EVA departure. Be careful out there. Aww. Don't worry, Liv. I'm sure it'll be no problem. Isn't that what we always say right before there's a problem? Oh my god, we're going into actual space. Exiting port side airlock. Copy. There should be a Fury transport dock just outside this the This is airlock. crazy that we can actually go here. Body. You'll need to run a diagnostic check before you can take off. Understood. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? This is like the first time for me. I played a couple of VR games where you steer something in space, like a battleship or whatever, but you're actually in person traveling here. Holy hell. Prep for RCS thruster calibration. Please hold on to the railing for the duration of the test flight. Initiating RCS thruster test. In three, two, one. Holding. 
Ha <laughs> RCS thruster check complete. Proceeding to primary thruster calibration. Reminder. Please hold on to the railing. Igniting primary thrusters. It's like a Disneyland. In three, two, one. Fury transport calibration complete. Liv, the Fury transport is set for flight. Great. Coordinates have already been uploaded to the Navcon. Just touch the marked location on the hollow map and you'll be on your way. Select your Honesty destination. Bridge. Good luck. I'm underway. Distance to anomaly. Oh 48. my god! Copy that. I have a visual on your transport. 3500 meters. So quiet. I mean, space is quiet actually. 2000 meters. Steady as she goes. Godspeed. There's no sound traveling. That's what Look I think I got her from science class. Just incredible. It's on the Saturn, right? Whoa! What the hell? The furious malfunction. I have no control. I'm drifting toward the anomaly. Remote link's been severed. I can't reboot the transport. Liv, <laughs> help me. Liv, I'm taking radiation damage. Abort, Jack. Get out of there now. Just ditch the fury. Go. Shields <laughs> at ninety-five percent. Evacuating fury. Hurry, Jack. Get clear of that radiation. Stand by. Ah, boosters. Jack, the fury has. Completely dropped off my scope. Total loss of signal. It, it's just... it's gone. On approach, I noticed the anomaly was pulling the surrounding debris into its center. You think the anomaly is housing some kind of singularity? That would be consistent with my observations, yes. Needless to say, I doubt we'll be seeing that fury transport again. Okay. Well, so much for scanning the anomaly up close. What was that? It's not a black hole. Liv, I'm clear of the radiation. You all right? Still functional. Though I must say my shell isn't exactly in the best condition. In that case, I recommend using your arm computer to reboot. It's the quickest way back to the station. And you can start fresh in a new shell. I guess we're done in this space. I wanna travel though. Hot damn, it's so interesting. I probably have other opportunities. 